But do we teach young people the science, knowledge and skills that really matter? And do young people leave school with a scientific understanding which they need to make informed decisions, you know, how to deal with the environmental changes, with the health risks and with the many other challenges that require personal action from all of us these days. Well, the OECD and 90 countries around the world are working together to find out. As part of the 2025 edition of PISA, you know, the world's leading yardstick for evaluating the quality and efficiency of our school systems. And to prepare for that, we work with a group of leading scientists and also with experts in science education to put together a new framework for science. Framework for science will also address what is arguably the greatest challenge of our times, you know, climate change and the very complex set of related challenges. Think of food supply or access to clean water or diseases. So PISA will assess how well schools are giving young people the scientific underpinnings to understand those issues and how they impact us differently around the world and to consider appropriate action to mitigate environmental hazards and to adapt to changes that are by now unavoidable. Well, a lot has happened in the 10 years since the Lions Science Framework. Since the world has seen increasing challenges of climate change, misinformation and the pandemic. This framework represents the considered opinion of a group of international experts about what the outcomes of science education should be to develop the knowledge and capability of young people to address these issues. Two highlights are how it takes misinformation and environmental education seriously. I commend it to you. I worked with three colleagues to form the Environmental Science Expert Group, and we were invited to bring focus regarding climate change and sustainability issues to the 2025 PISA Science Framework through working with the Science Expert Group. We defined agency in the Anthropocene, where we examine the critical role education plays in this era of socio-ecological challenge where human impacts result in changes to the Earth's systems. Infusing science education with learning opportunities for an appreciation and understanding about socio-ecological considerations provides valuable student, teacher and community engagement of these often devastating entanglements. I'm looking forward to the launch event to share and discuss possibilities for enabling a futures-focused science education that prioritises our current climate crisis and impacts. I'm very pleased to invite you to a webinar presentation of this new PISA science framework. 